Uh, okay, thank you, Mundu, for the introduction. Uh, I'm Chen Fang from Institute of Physics, uh, Chinese Academy of Sciences, and uh, I'll also talk about the non-commission skin effects because I also like to thank uh, uh, Zhong Wang for a nice introduction uh, on, on, the, on this matter. Uh, okay, so uh, my, talk, my, my title is uh, uh, the, about the topological origin of uh, the non-commission skin effect. Okay, so, so first, uh, I think uh, uh, John has already uh, told you uh, that the non-Hermitian Hamiltonian uh, is uh, useful in describing certain systems. So, so for a Hamiltonian being non-Hermitian, uh, we naturally require that H not equal H dagger. So the, a natural consequence is that the, complex, that the energy is no longer real. It can have an imaginary part. So what can we expect from a, an energy with an imaginary part? Well, we simply look at the uh, time evolution which is exponential minus i e times t. So if there is an imaginary part, we see that this mode will exponentially uh, will exponentially grow or decrease depending on whether the imaginary part of the energy is of the energy of the mode is positive or negative. So it can be used to describe modes that uh, that can be enhanced or suppressed, okay, uh, by some external uh, source or drains. Okay, uh, so uh, these these uh, this type of Hamiltonians are useful for describing classical dissipative systems, uh, including mechanical waves, etc. And also they're useful in uh, condensed matter systems uh, where the quasi particle have finite lifetime. So this finite lifetime can be described by a negative imaginary part of the energy. However, it is uh, in, uh, not good for discussing a general open quantum system. Uh, in, for, for those kind of uh, systems, there, there is another uh, uh, theoretical framework for their descriptions. <clears throat> oh, uh, so, so these are some uh, simple examples for a uh, non-Hermitian uh, Hamiltonian. Uh, suppose we consider a, uh, um, a condensed matter system, uh, uh, Green's function, uh, of, an, uh, of, an, of an electron. Uh, so you have this, uh, uh, this lifetime, and this lifetime is equivalent. You can consider the lifetime as an imaginary part of the energy. Okay? So the source of imaginary part can be uh, dissipative, just, just like this one. And there is an, another source called the uh, non reciprocity. So basically, uh, when you're in a Hermitian system, uh, suppose you have two, two states, one and two. And if the, uh, the hopping amplitude from one to two is t, then if it's Hermitian, then the hopping amplitude from two to one must be t star. However, however uh, for, for non-Hermitian system, it could be just t prime, which is independent from t. So if t prime is not t star, then we have a non-reciprocal system. So, uh, so, so these two sources, dissipation and non-reciprocity, are kind of interchangeable if you change the basis. So if we do not specify a symmetry, so in, in this talk, uh, we will not uh, talk about system with, with uh, symmetries other than translational symmetry. So if we're not interested in symmetries, then these two sources can be, are kind of exchangeable. So we do not specify which source our non-hermitian terms are. Okay, so uh, when you when you consider uh, a, a non-Hermitian lattice, a, a lattice Hamiltonian, and then you can still have a, a you can still use the, the lattice translation symmetry to have bands. Okay, so basically the the the, the non the non-Hermitian uh, lattice also has a band has band structure. Okay, so what are they look like? Mm, so this is the Hermitian bands. You can see that all the uh, all the bands, uh, each color represents a band. All the bands lie on the real axis, of course, and there may be gaps between them. Okay, so this is the familiar from permission band structure, and uh, uh, our familiar permission band structure. But for non-permission system, the energy can take complex values. For example, if you would consider a one-dimensional lattice non-hermitian system, we have that each band will form a circle. So why a circle? Because the K is periodic, okay? So the, 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 each circle represents a non-hermitian band in one dimension. Uh, they, may, they may intersect with each other and they may whatever. So, so, so this is a generic picture. And for two and higher dimensions, each band would be represented by a continuum. Okay? So 
so, so each color represents, again, each color represents a band. So this is a non-Hermitian band would look like if you plot them on the complex energy plane uh, for two dimension and higher. And this is the an intuitive picture for non-Hermitian bands, uh, energy spectrum. Okay, so, so uh, today's topic is non-Hermitian skin effect. Uh, which was theoretically proposed in uh, in Jumon's paper in 2008, uh, later experimentally verified in 2020 uh, uh, by Pontius group. So, so, so let, let's describe this uh, phenomena, which is unique in the non-hermitian system uh, in a phenomenological way. So there are two aspects of this phenomenon. Uh, one is about the, uh, the spectrum. So, so this is the pure, uh, this is the Hermitian case. These two are the Hermitian case, which uh, of which we are familiar. So, uh, uh, I will use the one-dimensional as an example, and this is the uh, uh, the, the the band structure of this one-dimensional Hermitian system uh, with periodic boundary condition. Okay, and when you cut the system open, you may have some edge states. Well, there may be there may be it may be of topological origin or maybe of trivial origin, but whatever there may be edge states, and these edge states are located inside the gap of the system. Otherwise, it would, it would not be localized. Okay. However, in the major part of the spectrum, so the, the 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 major part of the spectrum is not changed upon going from periodic boundary to open boundary conditions. Okay. However, in the non-Hermitian case, we have a drastically different picture. So this is the uh, periodic spectrum well, on the complex plane, which looks like a fish. Okay. So as far uh, so, so as soon as we cut off the system, making it an open boundary condition, we say that the, the entirety of the spectrum change from this shape to this shape, which looks like a fish bone. So this is the difference between uh, 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 b between the Hermitian and non-Hermitian system, uh, uh, which has uh, the, this. Uh, 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 skin effect. So when it has skin effect, the bulk of the, the the bulk spectrum changes significantly from periodic boundary to open boundary. So next is about the wave function. So again, we compare side to side to side Hermitian and non Hermitian cases. For the Hermitian case, uh, the uh, if if you solve for the open boundary condition uh, eigen eigen states. You have most of these states are bulk states, of course. They are standing waves of block waves. Okay, so they are they 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 are they are, uh, they are not localized on the edge. They are in, inside the bulk. However, uh, the number of these states is volume law. Okay, it's proportional to the volume of the system. And however, uh, there may be a few states, several states, which is uh, which is about uh, which is of area law, with the number of which is of area law that are localized on the edges. Okay, these are localized states. However, in the non-Hermitian case, which has, uh, which, has Hermi uh, which, which has skin effect, it's, a, it's completely the other, the other way around. Most of the states, the volume law number of states, are localized on the two edges. Uh, and there, is a, a, there are very few states which re remains uh, a bulk state. And the number of these bulk states uh, is of an area law. So this is what the non-Hermitian skin effect would look like uh, in terms of the wave function uh, of the eigenstates for the open boundary condition. Of course, the periodic boundary, the eigenstates are still the plane waves or the block waves. Okay, so how do we uh, understand the, the, this effect uh, in, a, in an intuitive way? Okay, uh, John Wong previously has introduced a, 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 a tool of a generalized Brion zone, and this is very useful in describing the non-commission skin effect quantitatively. Okay. But today I will just uh, introduce a hand-waving argument, which, can, which I use to understand this effect uh, intuitively uh, and qualitatively. Okay, so uh, let's look at the, uh, uh, the if this, uh, uh, how to say, so, if this, lump, uh, if this complex spectrum has a finite area, so basically it forms a loop, okay? If this is the case, I claim that there must be a skin effect. Oh, how to see this? So suppose you use a source of energy to excite the system. Suppose your source has energy omega, okay? So for non hermitian so, so, so this is the real, this is the real, uh, real part of the energy. Basically, this is the dispersion of the of all these single particle excitations of system. So, if you use a 
uh, some energy omega to excite the system, you have a, a right moving right moving uh, state, and you also excite a left left moving state. You have to excite two states. Okay, so the right mover moves to the right, and left mover moves move to the left. If it's a Hermitian case, then 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 then, then basically uh, these two will, will will not dissipate will, will not dissipate and will move right. However, for the non Hermitian case, if you plot out the imaginary part of the energy, then you may find that it is generically the case that the right mover and the left mover may have different imaginary parts of the energy. So remember that imaginary part is related to the to the lifetime of the of the excitation. So basically, you would have in this particular case, you have the lifetime of right mover is smaller than the lifetime of the left mover. So after some time, you only have a left mover right? because the other one decays exponentially faster than the, than the left mover. You can see that you use a, 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 a excitation, you use a unidirectional excitation omega to excite the system. But at the end of the day, you would have part, your particles moving to the left, not to the right. So this is the, the, if the spectrum has a loop. So basically I call it this a non-zero winding because well, when it, whenever you have a loop, you define a winding number. But there is another case when the system is either Hermitian or it's not Hermitian, but this loop collapses into an arc. So this is, this is a, an arc, an arc, arc type spectrum. So I, I, I plot these two curves very close to each other to, so you can see there are two. Okay, but however, but, but in reality, they should, they, should co they should just on top of each other. So if this is the case, and then you find that, uh, again, we do the same thing that you use an omega to excite the left mover and the right mover. However, in this case, the left mover and the right mover would have the same imaginary parts. Why? Because suppose that you use a cut to cut the, your, your spectrum, you have two you have two states, right? You have two states here. And these two states, because of this archetype, would have the same imaginary part. So they decay equally. So there is no bias toward, towards the left or towards the right. So this is the, the, how, the, uh, how, how, the uh, how the system behaves uh, under a unidirectional pulse okay, of uh, at frequency omega. When it has non-zero winding and also has zero winding. And I say this type, this, this one having non-zero winding must have skin effect. Why? Well, let's look at the, the, the second picture. Oh, so we have said that suppose that you, you excite the system in, in, in a unidirectional way. And if there is a, a, a non-zero winding, it, it, the, the, the response will be unidirection. So it, it will be like a current moving along one direction. And if you, uh, but if you have a periodic boundary, then this bias wouldn't show up because, well, be, 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 because uh, the, uh, the 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 because of the periodic boundary. However, if you cut off, if you cut the system open like this, and you still have this driving current here, and then you will naturally intuitively see that all the states will collapse to this end. Okay, so this is the wave function. What the wave function would look like uh, from eigen state under the periodic boundary and under the open boundary condition. So this is, um, oh, sorry. Uh, this is uh, uh, the dynamical picture of how a wave packet would move with periodic boundary and with open boundary. You see that with open boundary, the, 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 it, it, the, the, the right-hand side is like an attractor, okay? There is no reflection, there is no, no, no reflection. Well, not because there cannot be any reflection, but because the reflection would decay much faster. So you cannot see it. So you only have this, uh, uh, you only have this, uh, um, uh, the, the right moving state collapse to the right end, to, to, to the right end of the system. So, so here we're in plotting these figures, I, I, normalize, uh, I normalize the wave function at each step. So it would not decay, the, the, whole, the whole profile would not decay to zero. Okay, so we have uh, the, the, our, our summary in 1D. So how do we know if a system has a uh, skin effect or not in one dimension? Well, we'll simply plot out the, 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 the energy spectrum on the complex plane for a periodic boundary condition. And this is periodic boundary spectrum. So if the periodic boundary looks like a loop or any or more or two loops, 
in any of these cases, there must be uh, there, 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 there must be skin effect because while well, supposed to use a, a real frequency to cut the loop, you have two you have two states, and these two states having uh, are, have different have different uh, 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 lifetimes. These two excitations. However, if your uh, complex energy, uh, if your loop collapses into an arc, right? It's just a, a loop collapses into an arc, and then no matter how much, you, no matter how you cut it, at which frequency you cut it, you always have uh, two. Uh, you have two or more states having the same, having the same uh, imaginary part. So, so these two having imaginary part would have a different uh, velocity, and these two would have different velocity. So there's no bias towards the, to the left or the right. So this is the result in one dimension. And in two dimension, uh, I will first give you the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the conclusion. So in, in, in two dimension, uh, the conclusion is very simple. As I explained, in two dimensions, uh, it's supposed to plot out the periodic boundary spectrum. You would have uh, each band will be represented by a continuum. It has a finite area generically. And suppose there's a blue band and there is a, a, the, the pink band here. A purple and pink and if any of these bands if any of these bands has finite area so just like this or this if any one of these has finite area then there must be skin effect now here i define a skin effect in a in a way which may be different from uh, from, from from some other uh, from earlier papers because here i i I, I use the open boundary condition in both directions. Oh, so suppose this is two dimension, okay. I, I, I open the boundary along X and open the boundary along Y. Also, my shape, the shape of the two dimensional open system is irregular. I, I do not require a standard shape. It doesn't have to be a rectangle. Okay, so I claim that if, if, if there is any spectral area of the periodic band, then there must be skin effect on the edges in, for irregular shaped open system and however if you are if the entire area collapses into an arc if every band collapses into an arc then there is no skin effect no matter what boundary condition you use okay so this is a, a simple statement but it's still very strong because you, it's, it's very clear to it's, it's very easy to see whether a system would have uh, the so-called universal skin or why I call this universal I, I can explain a little later a little later so okay so uh, before uh, going to explain why this is the case I will uh, I, I, I will present a comparison between the uh, the topological edge modes in one dimension uh, the one dimensional skin modes and the two dimensional skin modes okay so for the topological edge modes in the Hermitian system, we require the number of these modes is area law, okay, so O1. But for one dimensional, but for skin modes, as I explained, the number of the, the number of uh, states on the edge is volume law. Well, it doesn't have to be every, all the states, okay? It's just a proportion to the volume. It could be 0 0.0, uh, 0 0.1 times L. Okay? And for two dimension, I also require that a, a finite proportion of all the states are localized along the edges of an irregular shaped open system. Okay. Also, uh, these uh, the 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 uh, where are these uh, where are these skin modes? Okay. So the for the edge, for the topological edge mode, it is located inside the gap between two bands. But for the skin modes, they're always in band. They're inside the bulk band. And for topological edge modes, we require a certain type of symmetry protection. It could either be a time, a time reversal, it could be part of the whole symmetry, but whatever, you would need some symmetry for its protection. However, in skin modes, well, this is not the case. At least for the skin modes we talked about today, we do not need any symmetry for its protection. And the last part is very important because this is a key difference between the uh, the skin modes, uh, the skin modes in two D and in, uh, in in one D and in higher dimensions. So we know that the uh, the one dimensional skin mode is incompatible with any spatial symmetry. Well, this is very easy to see because well, you have the you have your states localized on one edge, so it cannot look like be localized on the other edge. Um, it, it, it breaks the the inversion symmetry. And also, you can, if you have this the current picture on your mind, you can, the current is moving in one direction, not in the other. However, in two dimensions, 
a claim that this universal skin effect is compatible with every spatial symmetry that we can have. So this is, uh, well, th this is a point that we'll go back to later. Okay. So, so another, uh, so, so here first uh, we have an intuitive picture of how uh, the, uh, the, the skin effect, or how the skin effect happens in two dimensions. Again, uh, this is the case where you have a finite spectral area. This is how, this is how the, the band looks like if you plot all the, uh, the energy in, on, on the complex energy plane. And suppose you use a, a certain frequency to excite the system, omega, okay? So this is a real part of the real part of the energy, and you cut it, and you have you, you excite this circle of states, which well, I, I casually call it the Fermi the, the, the Fermi uh, the, the Fermi surface. However, if this has a, a if this is the case, then you have that these states along this dotted line, while they have while while they have uh, the same real energy, they have the different imaginary part. Basically, they have this different lifetime. So if you plot out the imaginary part of the energy, you find that along this Fermi surface, the imaginary parts are different. And at the end of the day, only the state K0 with the minimal imaginary part will survive compared with the other states because of the exponential decay. So therefore, if you, uh, if you do this for this, if we do this excitation for uh, this area, uh, the, this system with the spectral area, and then you 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 end up having an unidirectional uh, movement of the uh, of the particle. However, if your entire spectrum uh, collapses into an arc, then you do the same thing. You you also cut it with the, the, the a, 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 some certain omega, and then you see that all the states here. All the states here, basically all the states on the Fermi surface would have the same imaginary part. So they dissipate equally in every in a unidirectional way. There's no preferred direction. So that's why in this case, there is a skin effect. And in this case, there's none. Well, however, in order to, 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 to see this in two dimension, in order to, for, for, the, for the last step in two dimension, we have to be a little more careful because there could be symmetries. So, so with, uh, so, uh, uh, so, so the actual uh, the actual connection between uh, this uh, mm, this picture and the skin effect requires another step. That is, uh, generically, when you consider uh, the, the 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 states the, the states excited here, there may be if there is symmetry, there may be more than just one k zero which survives. There may be several. Okay, maybe k one, k two, k three, k four. They are located somewhere in the in the Brion zone. Okay, however. If you choose an arbitrary, irregular shaped open boundary, then these two, these four waves cannot form a standing wave on this irregular shaped thing. Okay. They can, maybe for a special shape, they can, they, can, they can give you a standing wave, but for irregular shape, these four states cannot give you a, a standing wave. This is because uh, for irregular shape, you require, uh, the standing wave will require that every point, every point, on the on the circum circumference vanishes the wave function vanishes, but you have only have four states to make your superposition to make a standing wave, and this this equation set of infinite number of uh, number of equations cannot be satisfied by just uh, the, by by only four coefficients for the superposition. However, if you have a collapsed arc of the spectrum, and then um, all the all the states on the Fermi surface would survive, okay, and there would be a, a, a area. So, so the number of states would be would be uh, equal to the uh, to the to the the, the length of the conference, the the, the the length the length of the circumference of the system, and also so there is hope that we can form a standing wave uh, for a irregular shape uh, for irregular shaped uh, uh, open boundary system, okay. So there are uh, uh, again, just like in one dimension, when we, where we can define a current in two dimension, we can also define a so-called uh, imaginary energy current, which which give, which more or less describes how this uh, how the how the the part the, the wave packet would move in a in a two dimension. So if if this current is non-zero, 
But however, in, in two dimension, uh, in two dimension, high dimensions, this current can either be zero or non-zero, even if there is a skin effect, it should be zero. But if this current is non-zero, then we'll have a very simple uh, a bulk, uh, we would have very simple uh, wave packet movement. So, well, it's very simple. That's uh, everything moves to the corner, to this corner. No matter where you start, you always move to this corner. So this is what we call a corner skin effect. This happens when this, uh, this current is non-zero and the, all the states move to the, to, to the corner uh, and be localized. So this corner skin effect is more or less, it's quite similar to the one dimensional uh, skin effect in that it breaks some symmetry, it breaks some spatial symmetry that is, is incompatible with all of these point groups in three dimensions. Okay, there it is. So, so, so this is uh, not quite universal, but we have another strange type, a new type of skin effect. So basically you either have, so, so this type of skin effect depends on what geometry you have for your open system. So you, we can have a, uh, so this type of geo, uh, this type of skin effect always have the bulk current being zero. The current is zero. So it, it, there's no corner, which it becomes a tractor. Okay. So you, suppose you have a, a, in, a, in, a some, in some system, you may have no skin effect for a square geometry, but the same system would show a, 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 the skin effect for triangular symmetry or for a diamond geometry not symmetry geometry, the triangular ge triangle geometry or a diamond geometry. And so, so this is why we call this geometry, geometry dependent. That is the, uh, the, the, uh, the, peer, the appearance of skin effect depends on the symmetry and on, on the geometry of your open system. Uh, it depends on the shape. Okay, and also the, uh, uh, we, if we look at the, the, the dynamics of the wave packet, we can see something interesting. So now we, Oh, sorry. So this is the this is the Hermitian case. Ah, uh, so so as is plain, let, let me explain. So so basically, this uh, we propose that this thing can be made uh, in a in a photonic crystal. This the experiment can be done in a photonic crystal, and uh, and this is the Hermitian case. You see that when when we have a Hermitian case, you have suppose you have a wave packet, a wave packet, and we give an initial velocity towards this end, and we find that it will just uh, bump uh, back and forth, okay? Indefinitely, for indefinite, indefinitely, okay? So however, for the non-permission case, we see that if you use this square geometry, it will behave just like the Hermitian case. There's a very little difference, but if you, use the non, if you use a diamond shape, you find that after a few reflection, the state will move to the, to, to, towards this end of the system, okay? So this is uh, how the, uh, the geometry dependent geometry dependent skin effect shows itself in a uh, in a dynamical way. That is, uh, if we use a different, it, it will have different reflection behavior uh, uh, when colliding onto uh, onto uh, onto and onto edges with the different uh, normal directions. Okay, uh, there's uh, there is one simple corollary. Of our universal skin effect, as we uh, so, so let's first uh, uh, review that the uh, the universal skin effect theorem states that whenever uh, your uh, your your two or higher dimensional system has a complex has complex spectral area, the spectral has an area finite area, then there must be skin effect. So it's easy to see that for an exceptional point. Oh, for those who do not uh, uh, have haven't seen this exceptional point, this is a type of a singular singular point in a, a non-hermitional multiband system, and around uh, around this point, uh, the dissipation takes a very special form that is like a, a square root of qx plus iqy, where these q and qy are momentum components with respect to this uh, exceptional point, and it also can take uh, uh, qx plus iqy to the uh, one over third. So so uh, whenever we have a uh, uh, whenever we have an uh, uh, exceptional point, the area, the spectral area must be non-zero. So we have a simple corollary that um, wh whenever we have a special uh, exceptional point, there must be a universal skin effect. And in fact, 
uh, this model that we talked about uh, is, is made with uh, with the help of the corollary. We actually have a we, what we actually made is what we have to propose is a system having four exceptional points, which has to be realized in experiments. Okay, this is my summary summary in two dimensions. In two and higher dimensions, uh, the skin effect does not require any symmetry, and also, more importantly, it is compatible with all the spatial symmetries. And uh, in two dimensions, there are uh, more types of skin effect, or, uh, which include the corner skin effect, where everything moves to the corner, and also the geometry dependent skin effect, which, uh, which depends on the shape of the open, uh, our open boundary uh, system. And there may be more types. So we, we're still investigating this, uh, 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 the, the new types of skin effect in two and higher dimensions. There may be more. Okay. Here are only two examples. As I mentioned, a corollary that uh, whenever you have exceptional point in your, your system, then you must have this skin effect. You only need to look for it. Okay, this is the end of my talk. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Professor Chen Fang, for a very inspiring talk. So we may uh, have some questions from audience. Uh, we got the question from Haruki. Yeah. Mm. Uh, hi. <coughs> uh, so let me ask a question. So, uh, so, uh, so I didn't quite get why there is no symmetry compatibility in one dimension. So can you show? Ah. Uh, can you go back to the two D uh, figure? Oh, 2D. that one. That one. Two D one. Yeah. No, no. Uh, the, okay. I think the diamond one. The diamond one. Like uh, in two dimensions, uh -huh. uh, it can it might be compatible. Oh, yeah, that one. So suppose like uh, in the figure C two, you yes. change the geometry in such a way that it is like uh, you know, like uh, you basically make it narrower in one dimension in di one direction, so that it's like a rectangular, and uh, it is like a diagonal. You know, you know what I mean? Like uh, 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 ah, and uh, you know, okay, like okay. two red two reds in diagonal direction. Are occupied in the you know same amplitude. Why can't we do the same thing in one dimension? I I, I feel like I see what you mean. I see what you mean. So so I, I think I can answer this question uh, in this way. So 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 basically, this uh, here the geometry dependent skin effect uh, for this particular system has this up to down mirror symmetry, but it doesn't have the diagonal mirror symmetry. So if you make it into a, a nano strip, yeah. Question is why you can cannot have diagonal mirror symmetry. Ah, if, if this has also diagonal symmetry, and then uh, if you use this, if, if both has the uh, x y symmetry, uh, x y mirror symmetry, it also has the x plus y, x minus y mirror symmetry. Yeah. Then what you have here is, if you use the diamond geometry, there is no skin effect. Oh, I see. It yeah. only show up when you use this well, more irregular shape that is uh, the um, <laughs> triangular shape. Okay. Uh, also, so, 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 so mm. Also, like a re related question is like uh, your 1D argument. Like, uh, can you go back to 1D? Uh, um, okay. Um, this one? Yeah, yeah. For example, like uh, you say, like, uh, you know, like uh, uh, for given energy, uh, hmm. the imaginary part is in general different. So you have like a bias towards one end, right? Yes. But uh, I can imagine, like, uh, you know, like uh, there, are, there are several branch, like, uh, say, several bands. And because of that, like uh, you have same population in left and right. Yeah, this is this this this, this, this 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 certainly could be the case. I mean, if there, this is exactly why I said that certain symmetry can kill this one-dimensional skin effect. Ah. Oh. So, so suppose suppose you have mm. well, you can you can very easily imagine this case actually. Suppose you have a a, a, a one-dimensional band with a spin orbital coupling, and there is time reversal symmetry. And then you can prove that the, the, the this type of uh, this type of skin effect will, will vanish, and there is another type of skin effect will arise, which in, in which well it's it's hard to 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 explain with with the, 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 this yeah, kind of like, diagram. But that like uh, you you say like uh, if the symmetry act within the band, like uh, it kills the skin effect, making the band like uh, you know without any area, right? But if the symmetry yeah. exchanges the bands, like uh, I feel like. Uh, it's still possible to have some, you know, ring shape, but uh, um, mm -hmm. you, you have your ring shape and what? Uh, you, you have two rings related by symmetry. Yes. Yes. 
and uh, no two rings, like not the one, one, only one ring. Is it? Yeah, you have two rings. One goes this way, the other goes another way. Something. Is that what you have? Yeah. Yeah. And then what do we propose? Can we just do? Uh, no. Can Can we impose the symmetry in the skin effect? Like I didn't quite get like why it's not possible to realize symmetry, spatial symmetry, basically. Uh, 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 um, how to say this? So, so if you have a, uh, if you have a spatial, how to say this? Um, um, so your, uh, your, your example, if you have this, uh, uh, this the, one going this way, the other goes the other way. Yeah. And then if you, uh, if you do not allow them to talk to each other, then yes, you may have uh -huh. skin effect, uh -huh. even with this, with this symmetry. But if you allow them to talk with each other, uh -huh. it's a different story. It basically, the, 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 for one spin, comp one spin component going this way can be scattered into a skin going the other way. So at the end of the day, there, there's no current, there's no total current. There could be a spin current, there's no total current. One more question. Oh, oh, question from where? Yeah, okay, maybe, oh, yeah. we, have, we have a question. From, oh, let's see. Oh, we have a question from Alexei. So, can you unmute yourself? Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for a nice talk. I mean, I have um, a question. So, how strong is the statement that uh, an exceptional point implies a skin effect? So, is that always true? The reason I'm asking is that I'm at least I'm aware of an example where you have um, flat bands, which in principle, if I understand correctly, fall into the category where your spectrum is arc-like. So there shouldn't be any skin effect, and yet the exceptional the exceptional points are there, but in one D. But I'm basically I'm, I, I don't see why oh, I cannot oh, find oh, examples oh, of this in two D. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. So 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 basically, uh, perhaps I should be more. Uh, more uh, accurate when I make the, the statements. Basically, mm -hmm. I, I I claim that this this uh, this uh, exceptional point must be uh, stable. So you 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 may have some some uh, accidental uh, uh, ex accidental exceptional points, and if, the, if the, even if that appears, that may not give you skin effect. So the the art, the, the why uh, this uh, corollary is correct is because I it, it depends on. On the form of this uh, 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 dispersion around the around the uh, uh, the exceptional point, if the around the exceptional point you have, you have a dispersion like a square root of qx plus iqy, then yes, it is true that you, there must be skin effect. But if it is accidental, it may take some other form. So, for example, in one dimension, it may have another. Uh, it, uh, it, it, it you you have you have your symmetry and you have kind of have your symmetry protected exceptional point, and in that case. It may or may not give you the, the skin effect. Oh, okay, thanks. Hmm. Uh, we also have a question. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there a, is there uh, a question? Uh, hello. Uh, okay, thank you for a nice talk. I have a question on uh, ge the geometry dependent skin effect. So could you sure. show me the slide? Okay, thanks. Um, so it seems like the direction of the boundary uh, is important in this uh, geometry dependent skin effect, right? Exactly. Uh, so if it's the case, uh, if, if we consider um, the process cutting off the corners of diamond geometry uh, system to making a, at first an octagonal geometry uh, system and then uh, cutting by cutting off the larger and larger pieces uh, from the corners of the diamond, maybe we can somehow reach the uh, rectangular geometric uh, system. So in that uh, in that yes. process, sure. um, how the uh, the like the skin effect states uh, evolve. So it ah. uh, since the geometry dependent skin uh, skin effect can be distinguished from the uh, corner skin effect by like zero uh, current density so it seems like uh, like somewhere between the process uh, somewhere somewhere between the process like the skin effect states must um, disappear so ah, 
Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 so let, 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 I, actually, I think somewhere in the paper we have a, a, a figure that explains that. But, and, anyways, let, let me explain. So, uh, suppose you, 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 you cut your system here, right? Cut it here. You cut a triangular there, and then you cut it here, you cut it here, you cut it here. And then you basically just weaken these bounds, weaken these bounds. And to a certain degree, that to, to finally uh, they 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 are off. Okay, and in this process, what we would have, would see is that these states will uh, would then move to the triangles where you cut off. Okay, the, 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 these these skin modes. So the, these those four triangles that you cut off would have would show skin effect. Okay, but this the the, the centerpiece when you when you have a square finally would have no skin effect. Uh, I see. So, so the, 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 this is what I would say. Uh, what, what I say would happen uh, when, you, when when you actually do this. Mm. So uh, first, uh, so, so of course these uh, uh, these directions or what, uh, the, this cutting direction on this side it will not have skin effect for this particular model uh, because there's some symmetry that prevents this ha from happening. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, another questions. Uh, we have a question from Sergey. Yeah, can you go please to your last slide, uh, conclusions of the 2D system? So you this see one. here that uh, for um, such a skin effect uh, in 2D, you don't need any symmetry, which means that in 1D you do need a symmetry, yet you showed us that uh, a skin effect in 1D is also quite common. What is the additional symmetry you do need in 1D? You know, ah, okay. So, symmetry. So, okay, okay. I, 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 uh, uh, I think this is expression here on the, in the, on the final slide may be a little confusing. In 1D, it, it does not require any symmetry. I, I, this, I, I want to express in 2D, this part remains the same as in 1D. Okay. But, but what is different? Yeah, I got it. And uh, a short second question. What is then, however, the symmetry you uh, uh, need to impose on a 1D system in order to get these arcs which you showed at the, in the first part of your talk? Ah, uh -huh. a, a, a very good question, actually. Uh, there, there, there are a few, there are a few. Uh, first, you, can, you may consider this, uh, um, this inversion symmetry. Inversion symmetry would require that uh, E at plus K must be the same as E as minus K. So when you go from zero to two pi, you find that the spectrum would go this way and it will back, back step all the way back. Okay, so, so it, it will give you our, the arc state. No, no maybe I, I meant, uh, I wanted to ask a different question. What kind of uh, local symmetry in real space do I have to impose on uh, such a chain which you were using as an example in order to get such an arc? Uh, what do you mean by a local well, spatial I mean, symmetry? I mean by writing down your uh, non-Hermitian Hamiltonian in real space. Is there some local symmetry in this real space which ensures that uh, the, uh, the spectrum will turn into an arc or not? Uh, so so, so let, let me first uh, cl uh, clarify. Uh, the, does your uh, local symmetry involve symmetry such as inversion? I don't know. I'm asking you. <laughs> Uh, if it's is inversion, it? as, I, as I just explained, if it's inversion, then yes, uh, if it, the inversion would kill the skin effect totally. It would certainly guarantee you an arc-like an arc -like, uh, spectrum. So if the, if the local symmetry is so-called T-dagger, well, it's, it's, it's a bit <laughs> not very easy to explain what T-dagger is. Basically, it, it basically means a reciprocity. And then T dagger is, is called time reversal da dagger, dagger symmetry would also kill the skin effect. Sure. Uh, about the other things, I am not so sure, actually. Okay. I'm not Thank so you. sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh, also, we have, we have a question from Aris. Do we have a question? Yeah, yeah. Hello? I think you actually partially answered my question in the last answer, but I guess I was wondering, the spectral arc, is it always either fine-tuned or it requires symmetry? I mean, you, you answered that inversion symmetry will... Yes, will it's a, I think it's an interesting question. So, 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 so basically, uh, 
uh, uh, if you if you remember uh, a PT symmetry that that John Wang was talking was talking about, right? So that can in in certain parameter space also give you a, a, a arc like arc like uh, uh, spectrum, right? In the PT exact phase, because all the states all, all the energy will, will lie on the real axis. And in in one dimension, I think that's that, that, that that's all that I can think of. That is uh, t, t, t dagger symmetry. Uh, there is um, inversion symmetry. There's PT symmetry. In two dimensions, and in two and higher dimensions, I don't know any spatial symmetry that can give you uh, guarantee you an arc state, an arc uh, an arc type to spectrum. Uh, but PT symmetry is, is is different. PT symmetry, yes. PT symmetry in a PT exact phase can still give you a, a arc. Uh, archetype uh, spectrum. That's all I know. I, I thought you were just arguing in 2D inversion symmetry would give you an arc. No, in, in 1D. In, in, in 2D, 2D. There, there, there's, there, there's no such. So, so, so it's easy to see because oh, this is a 2D thing. So in 2D, what do you have that uh, the, the, the inversion symmetry would guarantee you that K0 and the minus K0, K0 are of the same uh, uh, lifetime, okay. So, 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 so basically, um, you, if you cycle the state, it will not be unidirectional. It will move both k zero and to to the other direction, but it is di still different from the uh, from it is it's still different from the no um, uh, from the from, from the no skin effect state where it will propagate along all the directions. Um. And it, the, 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 this is this answers the question. No, but if, if you pick any direction, um, uh, suppose you pick any direction for the current to flow, I would think that inversion symmetry is enough to to ensure that the, 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 that the, the mm. lifetime for for that particular direction is equal for both states. Ah, right? oh, yes, yes, of course, of course. The, 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 this is the why I said this. So uh, these symmetries, any of the, the uh, any of these point groups would guarantee you that you have a zero current. But zero current would annihilate the corner skin effect. The, but it, but the, the geometry dependent skin effect is compatible with zero current. I, I see. I see. How about a, a continuous rotational symmetry? A continuous rotation symmetry. I haven't considered that. But a continuous rotation symmetry, I think. Uh, Yes, this is good. Okay, continuous spatial uh, rotation symmetry. Uh, I think there they, they, it will kill, again. It will kill the. Uh, no, 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 not right. Um, okay, I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 it's, 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 it's not easy for me to answer this. But continuous rotation symmetry, and if you are according to to this argument here, then. That all the states would have the same right. lifetime. Um, okay. Well, maybe there's no skin effect. I I I, I don't know. I haven't I haven't thought about this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is there any other questions from audience? Oh yeah, Haruki, can you make it short? Yeah. 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 So in your expression for current operator. Uh, it's like a, it looks for, like for a, what operator again? For what operator? Current. Uh, current. current. Yes. Yeah. It was like an integral of dk squared and e times. Yeah. So why you, you have e there? Like, are you, so you ah. like, <laughs> current is like a, you know like a velocity you know, derivative of you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So 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 first uh, I'm, I'm I'm sorry <laughs> because the, the, this is actually an error. So, oh. so it actually, uh, the original uh, formula in my paper has uh, n, n as a function of e and e star. So basically, here I want to simulate what you would have for a uh, uh, for uh, uh, what you would have for a current with a given uh, distribution, a given given uh, a density distribu distribution of states. So the the expression is n as a function of e, and this is the dE over dK. And so, so more or less, it means that it calculates the total current of a given distribution. Oh, great, thanks. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so uh, we again thank uh, Professor Chen Fang for a very inspiring talk. Uh, I have uh, many questions actually, but uh, uh, I hope to ask uh, in future on-site conference since we are out of time. Thanks again. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Mundip. Thank you, everyone.